गुड मॉर्निंग मैम वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू या आई एम फाइन थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग एंड हाउ आर यू आई एम डूइंग अमेजिंग थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग सो हाउ इज योर डे गोइंग ऑन इट्स रेनिंग या 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 it is getting it is going on very well but right now as it is raining yeah actually i always make the video on my roof uh, at my house and it is raining that's why also yes so ma'am uh, we are meeting uh, maybe we are meeting a uh, second time yeah no this is first time oh yes yes and uh, we don't know about each other each other who are you where are you from and currently what do you do first of all please in- introduce yourself okay so my name is shalu kumawat and i am from jaipur rajasthan about my qualifications i am graduate in bachelor of arts when it comes to my hobbies so my hobbies are dancing and explore new places and spend time with myself and right now i am preparing for the government examination along with that i am working on my communication skill that's all about to me yes yes it is nice to ask it is good to know about yourself and uh, ma'am uh, when did you start your english speaking journey well it's been 9 to 10 months i am learning this language okay but uh, in which purpose in which purpose are you learning this language and why did you think you have to learn this language okay so the journey was started because i gave some interviews but i was not selected because of the lack of communication skill in english language like lack of vocabulary pronunciation so that moment i realized that i should to work on my english skill so after that right now i'm doing my english practice till now it's been like 9 to 10 months i just try to upgrade myself as much as i can yes yes this is nice and i am am may i introduce myself yes please yes yes First of all, thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. I am Santanu Das. I am uh, connecting from West Bengal, and by profession, I am working person. I work in the hospital as an attendant. And if I talk about my education qualification, I have completed my graduation in mathematics subject. And if I talk about my hobbies, I always like playing cricket and football. Apart from also, I am running my one YouTube channel, which name is English with SG. That's all about me. Oh, that's great! And what about your English journey? How did you start, and when did you realize that to work on your communication skill? Yes, yes. I have been learning this language uh, for, for a long time. I have been learning this language uh, about one year and six months. But I have been speaking English about uh, eight months. Yeah, and uh, I have been learning this language uh, because there is another reason. Because uh, when I was starting in my school life, when I was starting in class eight standard and nine standard. at that time my english was not good and at that time i was very weak in english subject and at that time i could not write one sentence in english properly and that's why also right now also i am working person and whenever i get free time i always try to learn english in this time also uh, first of all i have cleared the all grammatical rules and after i completed the grammatical rules i started my english speaking journey and in this time there is no problem in my writing yeah i can write properly but i can i can't speak properly that's why also i am practicing right now yes So, do you have environmental to speak English in your workplace, in at your home, anywhere? Oh no, no. I belong to village area. I belong to village area, and I work in a hospital. It is near my house, and no. And in our locality, in our society, there there is no good environment speaking English. No one speaking English in our locality. No one speaking English at our home. And that's why also at that time I have to I have to face a lot of problems for my speaking journey. And uh, there is no good partner. Yeah. Uh, that's why when i started my english speaking journey at that time uh, i used to use many application or the for my audio call purpose high pro cv explancy this kind of application also i used to use first time but right now also i don't use right now also i use this application skype yeah okay so how was your experience on like as if as fluency and this kind of application yes uh, yeah this kind of person are very very useful for who are beginner and actually uh, it is totally free 20 minutes or 25 minutes yeah it is totally free yeah okay that's great and ma'am i have, i'd like to ask one one person to you and uh, you have been learning this language uh, you have been speaking english about eight months and uh, but uh, ma'am i am asking one question why did you think is english grammar is important for speaking english 
Why do you think? Uh, sorry, actually, I didn't catch your words. Could you repeat that? Yes, yes. What do you think? English grammar is important for speaking English? Well, I would say grammar is important. We can't deny this truth, but we do not need to PhD in grammar. We should to cover only basic grammar. According to me, for example, tenses, modals, prepositions, articles. So this kind of topic, we have to clear that because it will help you in your speaking part and in your reading. And in your every, like in your speaking part, whenever you write something. So in, the, in those area, that will help you a lot. Yes, yes. And ma'am, I, I would like to ask another question to you. I know also to learn any language, always you have to follow four rules, L, S, R, W, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Four things are very important. But what do you think? What is the most important part for speaking English? Well, according to me, according to my experience, listening helped me a lot to learn this language. And we already know that whenever we learn any new language, so we have to work on that LSRW. But listening helped me a lot to improve my English journey. So I would say listening, that is the main factor. <laughs> yes, yes, you are right. I absolutely right. I agree with you. Listening and speaking is the most important part in my point of view. And ma'am, I would like to ask another question to you. At the beginning time, when you started your English speaking journey, at that time, what kind of method did you follow for your speaking English? Actually, that part of time I started my English journey, I did a lot of mistakes. After watched a lot of videos, then I started listening uh, according to my level. Then after that, I started speaking and then reading and writing. So this kind of activities I did until now I'm doing practice. Yes, yes. And ma'am, earlier did you join any coaching center? Did you join any institute for your speaking English? Yeah, like in my initial days, I joined an institute where I knew like what is the right way to learn English. But I would say practice is the key to learn English. <laughs> yes, yes, you are right. Practice, practice is the most important key for speaking English. Actually, uh, there is no good environment. Environment that's why also always here. And in our in our society, I observe that I have a lot of friends. They are educated person. They are brilliant student. They can read properly in English. They can write properly in English. They can understand also properly English, but they cannot speak speak English properly. That's why also practice is the most important thing in my point of view. Without practicing, we cannot success in our life. Right. And Mama, what is the native language? Okay, so my native language is we usually speak Hindi and Marwadi language. Uh, Hindi and Marwadi. But um, your native language Hindi, Hindi and Marwadi, but you also learn your native language always speaking or listening, yes? Yes, like at my home and everywhere I usually speak Marwadi and Hindi language, not yes. English. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And um, how many members do you have in your family? Well, I live in a joint family, so basically there are nine members in my family. Yes, yes. And ma'am, what is your goal? What is your hobby? Well, my hobby is like explore new places. When it comes to my goals, so I would like to get a job in a government sector. If I will not select, then I will do in a private sector. And short term goal, you can say I want to polish my communication skills. And let's see what will happen. Yes, yes. And ma'am, in your locality, in your locality, do you have any friend? Do you have any partner who is willing to learn English for practicing purpose? Well, in my area, I cannot see any person. Like he is very dedicated to learn English. But yes, like everyone is know that what is the importance of English. But I think no one is learning right now. I'm only the person in my area. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> And do you do you have any part? Do you have any members in your family who is speaking English? No, not at all. Everyone speak Hindi and Marwadi language. No one likes to speak English. Yes, yes. And ma'am, uh, I'd like to ask another question to you. Uh, have you visited any other state in our country? Uh, sorry, actually, your voice was. Yes. Sir. Have you visited any other state in our country? <coughs> yes. I visited Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. That was a wonderful trip. But when did you go there? Well, I don't remember the exact date, but maybe I think one year ago. 
I visited Pani. Uttarakhand. Uh, that was completely family trip. I visited spiritual places, the capital of yoga, Rishikesh. This kind of places I visited. Yes, yes. Now, right now, so you are speaking very well. There is no doubt. But uh, when uh, one year ago you also went there, Uttarakhand, and at that time, did you face any problem to communicate others uh, to communicate other people? Yes, I got chance to interact with uh, one foreigner. So I just tried my best. I just tried to like interact with. Yeah, it was good experience. Whenever we are talking with in front of the people, that was always unique experience. Yes, yes. And Mama, and what do you do this that time? Sorry. What do you do in your spare time? In your free time? Well, yes, I usually hang out with my friends. Otherwise, I will watch some comedy videos, clips, shows. So this kind of activities I usually do. Yes, yes. And what like uh, there are a lot of uh, famous cuisine in West Bengal. Yes, yes. In uh, in West Bengal, there are famous places. Uh, uh, there are many famous famous places. In Kolkata is the capital. Yeah, and in Kolkata there are many famous places. Howrah Beach. Do you know Howrah Beach is famous? Actually, uh, there is no pillar in the Howrah Beach, and it is famous. And there are Victoria Memorial, Alipur Zoo. There are many kind of places are famous in Howrah in uh, in Kolkata. And if I go to the north side, uh, Darjeeling is a tourist place. And if I ask me in the historical place, uh, I have to go the Murshidabad district. There is a lot, lot of historical place. Yeah. And what about the cuisine part? Like anything is specific? Like Rasogulla, this kind of desert? Maybe. <laughs> yes, yes. Rasogulla is the famous. Rasogulla is the famous sweet in our state. And what is the famous food? Uh, famous uh, uh, food in your state? Well, our traditional food is dal bati churma. Yeah, it oh, is. Uh, with, and there are a lot of cuisines like Rajasthani gheer, Mishri mawa, pade, and then a variety type of sweets you can say. Yes, yes. And ma'am, in Kolkata, most of the people are Bengali person. They always like. Uh, they always like uh, in the lunch time uh, rice, fish, this kind of uh, curry, this kind of food. They always take. But uh, you are from you are from Rajasthan, yeah. But what kind of food do you take in your lunch time? Well, like uh, uh, in Rajasthan, like in my area, most of the people are vegetarian, so we usually get vegetarian food like uh, dal, chapati, rice. So this kind of dishes we usually get. Yes, yes. Ma'am, you Rajas in Rajasthan. What what uh, what is the famous place? What kind of place is famous? Are famous in your state? Well, you know Rajasthan is known for historical places. There are so many beautiful cities. For example, uh, Jaipur, Udaipur, Jodhpur, and you can explore the local markets. If I talk about my city, Jaipur, so you can explore the local markets. Is known for traditional cloth, jewelry, and you can uh, ex. Uh, like you can explore the uh, famous historical places, Nahargarh Fort, Amir Fort, Billa Temple, and many other places. Like, and you can on you must try dalwati churma. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. different type of cuisine, so you must to try. I'm sure you will like it. Yes. And ma'am, when did you join in this application? Maybe it's a very long time, but I was not be consistent. Like maybe I think uh, eight to nine months, but I eight was not nine. consistent. Yeah. Yes, sir. And ma'am, how uh, how much time do you practice every single day for your improving your English skill? Well, when it comes to the speaking part, I just do two things. I do video conversation and audio conversation. So this kind of two activities I usually do. Sometimes I skip audio conversation. To be honest. Yes, yes. And ma'am, I am asking one question to you. I belong to village area, and when I was studying in my when I was studying in my school life, that time my English was not good. I was very weak in English subject, and that's why also I I don't have a lot of vocabulary in my brain while speaking. I get stuck. Yeah. But right now also I am talking with you. But after conversation, I was thinking eh, it was very easy. But at that time, it does not come in my mind. I I have to face a lot of problem, a lack of vocabulary. But ma'am, I have, I'd like to ask one question to you. How did you improve your vocabulary skill? Okay, so when it comes to the vocabulary part, so what I do, I just read a lot. 
so whenever i will come across a new word so i just write out that meaning what is the meaning of that and i just repeat that word and uh, like again i use that word in our daily conversation so this kind of i this kind of activity i usually do to enhance my vocabulary yeah yes. do you like do you like reading english newspaper do you like reading english story book like i don't prefer newspaper to be honest i would prefer story books and books like uh, you can say related to the our honorable president abdul kalam swami vivekananda so this kind of uh, books i would prefer yes yes and ma'am you have been using this application about 8 or 9 months but earlier did you use another application for your speaking english yes that part of time i started my english journey so i used some like some application like josh talk and hi bro and s fluency so this kind of application i tried yes yes yes, yes. and ma'am you are from you are from rajasthan yeah yes i am from jaipur rajasthan uh, jaipur yeah and jaipur is the king city yes yes But uh, what is the reason? Why why it is called King City? Do you know? Yes, actually during the Maharaja Ram Singh, the king was paint the king was painted uh, like all the city is painted in the pink color because it was the preparation to welcoming the prince wells. So after that we usually say Pink City, and you can see if you will come to Jaipur. then you can see the like old city like old jaipur is completely in pink color all buildings and so this kind of places they are painted in pink color till now yes 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 and ma'am uh, all right it was nice conversation with you yeah it is nice conversation you are speaking very well i have learned a lot of thing and thank you for giving a valuable time all right ma'am nice to meet you take care bye bye have a good day yeah same here have a nice day take care yourself All right, enjoy. Now.